Hi there everyone and welcome back to another first look video. My name's Leon, I'll be the one looking after you. And today we're playing Go Fetch by Digital Dog Games which is coming out on the 9th of August on Steam. So I want to thank the developers for giving me this code to have a go of it. And you literally see it as I see it. I've not had a chance to look at, I haven't looked at anything else. So the first thing we've got to do is choose a dog. We've got buttons. Colors. Um, border Collie, Beagles, Chihuahuas, Bulldog, Reno the Rescue, this Rescue Dog, um, Black Lab, Ridgeback, St. Bernard. Um, I think we'll go for a Border Collie. Yeah, we'll go for a Border Collie to start with. So I mean, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I haven't looked at uh, really, you know, I haven't looked at it at all. So you're seeing it at the same time as I do. And it's nice to see they've included lots of different languages to include lots of different people. reactions is that the controls are a bit sensitive. Please the controller. Thank you. 
just it's a bit overly sensitive, I mean. I change the keyboard control. I think I'm at the end. That's a dead end. So this way is no use. something that we need to really be added to make this a lot more playable. I love the concept of it, but the bit that's frustrating me, and I said that I honestly probably would turn this off and never turn it on again, is the control system. I mean, it's like there, it's in point in that direction, one tap, and we're automatically, well, we're already kind of To me, all of that, I mean, that's something all the elves could do is just think about the control, don't just program and press such and such, and it does this. Think about the sensitivity, think about giving different because different people have got different touches, different control, different controls, different keyboards all respond differently. So, you need to put an option in there to you know, for sensitivity. Right, I think we're in the right direction now. Cause I, I mean, people know me like no, I like puzzle games. And I really do like puzzle games. And this game could be a lot of fun if I could control it. Especially if you've got a ton at right angles. I mean, what I'd prefer is if you're not going to. Is, is to is the, you have to tap the keys just to get it to turn the angle I want instead of actually just pressing the key. Go to the camera angle slightly as well. So if you can't see, you don't know which way you're going. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Prime example. Come on, boy. Come here. Come on. I thought I was straight there. Just frustrating as anything. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. I'm trying to 
Come on, boy. Come here. Come on, boy. Come on. Come here, boy. Come on, boy. Come here. Come here, boy. So, I mean, the control system, the keyboard system is too sensitive. The control system is a little better. Come on, boy. But it's, it Come seems on, to be that the angle of ton is preset. So you can't just turn a fraction, you've got to turn a certain chunk. Oh. Uh, I do apologise, it's like this is, I mean, I'm thinking this is kind of annoying the way it's done. To watch this is going to be difficult. Come here, boy. Come on. Come on, boy. Oh, Come, on. Come on, boy. Come here. Come on, boy. Come here. Come here, boy. Come on, boy. Come here. Come here, boy. So that's Go Fetch by Digital Dog Games. I mean, I like the premise, I like the idea, I like the mazes, I like the graphical look. My only criticism is the controls. It needs to be, I mean, as I I went in, I had a look options a difficult video and audio that's it so you've got no control option I like the fact there's loads of languages available to do up to more people so digital dog you need just to tweak either you know make the controls a little less sensitive um, or put an option so people can do it now to me I'd prefer to rather see an option to change the sensitivity because I know myself playing on different machines, they'll be out really just one different play. But as I said, out on Steam on the 9th of August. So go and check it out, links will be in the video description. But if you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you haven't done so already. Leave your comments below, let me know your thoughts on this game. But until the next episode, bye bye for now.